Welcome back everybody. We are going to be setting a few coyote traps today. Maybe uh, if I feel really ambitious we'll set a mink and beaver trap, but uh, I don't know about that. We're going to go clean out the hunting shanties and get them all, all uh, cleaned out for next year. So I know I got a goofy looking hat on. But it's cold out, and I'd rather be warm and look goofy than cold and look normal. So, what do you think, Scout? Scout thinks my coat smells interesting. We'll see you out there on the trap line. This is a set that I had here earlier this year, and I had a trail camera set up, and uh, I had set this trap off when we got bad weather and I had I don't know how many different fox and coyotes hit the set while uh, it wasn't up and ready to go. So we're going to reset this and rebait it and see what we can do here. Okay, that's a wrap on that set. Looks like an absolute mess, but there's a little bit of a method to my madness here. I have two sets on here, because when uh, I had that camera set up right here, I kept having them hit it either from straight from the field or straight from down there. They'd never want to hit it straight on where I had the trap. I mean, they did, but the trap wasn't set or anything, but the majority hit them from the angle, the side, so I got both trap on both sides, so whatever side they come from, that was the old trap bed right there and they've been digging that out so I just left it there and uh, used my dirt hole right there for my satin stuff and we'll see I'm gonna set a camera up right here for you guys on video mode and trail camera and we'll see what happens here Camera's all set up. Hopefully, we'll uh, see that nail coyote or fox. We'll find out. Here's the second trap. There's the trap and the hole right there, right off the corner of the field. This is an old trail and I've got a camera set up right here. I need to adjust it a little bit. That should do it. So, We'll see what happens with this one. That camera will tell the story. going to be a pigeon video coming very soon very soon folks got a bunch of pigeons feeding in the cornfield right here I have to get a hold of the boys and go kill them maybe even 
this afternoon. We'll see what's going on. Well, here's the third set right here. I have it right off this corner. This is all red brush in here and it turns into a hardwoods and pine that dives down into swamp over there. And I always see lots of coyote tracks coming right around this corner and fox tracks. So there's the set and I got a camera up on it. So should be pretty exciting to see what, what we get, especially on those trail cam videos. I have them all set on video, so we should get some real time action on these, on these sets. We'll find out. Okay, so this is kind of a unique set right here. Here's one of my food plots down in the red brush. There's the shanty that I'm always hunting out of up there. And these fox and coyote always run this uh, little drainage right here, either up the field edge or right up along the food plot. I've got lots of pictures of them coming up through here. And uh, I had a couple of these odd pieces that I pulled out of the food plot, a rock and a board there. So I set them there and I just uh, smeared a bunch of bait right on that board and set the trap right here, kind of on a trail that they already naturally use. So I'm hoping that might pique their interest enough to come over and uh, sniff that and bam, we'll smoke them. And I got a camera set up on this one too on video mode, so see what's going on. Let's go set a few more. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna make the next set. There's a big ant hill right here. And uh, I've just seen fox and coyote tracks come right up the edge of the field here. This is actually Nebraska food plot. There's a shanty we hunt out of right there. And then here's a, a G2 buck. Back when the G2 buck was still thriving, there's one of his rubs right there. And he tore up one of these pine trees in here too. But. There's only two bucks that would have done that, Bruce Lee or the G2 buck. Pretty sure that was a G2 buck because that was there earlier on. But we're going to go ahead and make a set right here. Okay, there's the finished set right there. Got a ant hill with a dirt hole. And we got a camera set up on it, right on the edge of this field right here. So, be interesting to see what we get here. Okay, I'm gonna put in a little mink set right here. Kevin will be proud of me. We got a big sluice pipe right here. And uh, I'm gonna make a pocket set right there off the corner. Go! Not as good of an echo as I thought. But I'm gonna take and dig more of a hole out there and make it flat right here where I'm gonna bed my trap. So it's about an inch and a half under the surface of the water. And then I'm gonna anchor it right here in this deep spot with a with a brick. And it's gonna have a slip uh, uh, slip hinge on. I don't even know what you call it. That when it gets the mink gets caught, it can go down, and uh, when it goes to come back up, it won't be able to make it. It'll drown right here. It'll be a drowning rig. So I'll get the camera set up, and we'll get this made.
I'll show you guys what I was talking about with this. It's just a little piece of steel that I drilled out on each corner and bent slightly. So now this will be down the deep water and when that mink gets in there it'll be up at this end and it'll be able to slide down but when it goes to go back up it can't go back up so it'll drown. This is Kevin's home brew right here. You said what was in it? I don't really remember, but it's a lot of nasty good stuff. Well, that was my first mink set I've made since I was probably 14, 13, 14, 12, 13, 14 years old with uh, my buddy Dave and James. And uh, that's pretty much how we did them back in the day. What do you think, Kevin? I know you're a subject matter expert on these sets. I'll give you a closer look here. There's my drowning uh, brick that I connected the wire to. And then the bait's up in that cubby. And my trap is bedded right there. It's still a little uh, murky, but I have a couple. I put those rocks there to kind of guide it, make sure it goes to the right a little bit. But we'll see. We'll see how it does. Okay, I got all the traps set. I was looking to get set today. I just set a beaver trap down in there quite a ways. I didn't want to lug my big expensive camera in there with me. I'd fall or drop it or I'm not worried about me falling in the water I'm worried about this falling in the water but I got the trap set and a nice run it looks like we'll see tomorrow we still gotta go up and clean out the shanty and uh, we'll call it a day and uh, be excited be excited to check these traps tomorrow so be sure to tune in tomorrow and uh, see what we got let's go clean that shanty out A lot of people have asked about my shanty and uh, what we did was we just sunk, the shanty got built on the ground and uh, we sunk four poles, four by six by twelves, or fourteens, and uh, what we did is we lifted the shanty up with a bucket tractor, we put forks on the bucket, and the shanty's on skids, so we just made the, the footers just wider than the skid so when it, we lifted it up we could slide it right on and set it down and set it down on there and then we just bolted the skids to the legs there and uh and i built a porch off the back side to get in and out of over there with the material i had left see right there so pretty simple design Still pretty expensive though. All this treated wood is no joke. That's going to do it on today's video. I'm really looking forward to checking traps tomorrow. And I hope you guys are too. We might have, if everything goes perfect, we'll have a coyote, a fox, a beaver, and a mink. Maybe multiple of uh, coyotes and foxes if everything goes really good. But that's pretty wishful thinking. Got the shanty all cleaned out. Got the traps out. Everything's good. I thought it was funny. I got all the junk food out of the shanty and uh, if 
found where Kaylee was keeping track of how many does and how many bucks she was seeing. She had uh, the does tallied and the bucks tallied. Trying to even out that buck to doe ratio. Looks like the doe still won. One day she saw 10 does to 4 bucks. The next day she saw 11 does to 3 bucks. So, we still need to shoot some does next year. But, appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you on the next tomorrow. Checking traps.